Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been literally two weeks since I put out a video, but I know you guys don't want excuses. But the reason I've been gone was last week I was like crazy busy. Um, my friends were going back to college, so I was just hanging out with them, spending time with them, being like a teenager. And then this week I got really, really sick, actually. Um, I think I have strep. Like, uh, the doctor didn't strep test me, but I think that's what I have because I have antibiotics for strep. But I, like, I was just like super tired, out of fever, like whatever, I guess I'm really here. But I was just like not feeling good at all. So this is a high school makeup tutorial. Just because I'm showing you guys foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, highlight doesn't mean you have to wear foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, highlight. Like if you guys just want concealer and powder, just do that. So just honestly take this with a grain of salt. If you like the look and you want to duplicate it, go for it. If you hate the look and you like a couple things but you don't want to wear the whole look, don't wear the whole, like, do you know what I'm saying? Just take this and modify it. You're not stupid. I think you know what I mean. If you guys are new to my channel, first off, hello. Welcome to the Starling fam. If you guys want to subscribe, I would encourage you to. Be sure to subscribe because I just planned out all my videos last night and it's a lot. Now that school is back in session, I have my life back because all my friends have gone back to college. I never ask for this ever, but let's try and get this video to 10,000 thumbs up. And then like maybe next time we can try 15,000 and then 20,000 and then whatever. So let's try 10,000 and we'll just see where it goes from there. I hope you all enjoy this video. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever, all the good stuff. Let's get on to the video. First thing, foundation. Now, like I said before, just because I'm using foundation doesn't mean you have to. So this is the Clinique Fit Workout Makeup Broad Struck Broad. I'm using this foundation, even though it's like a fit foundation, it's for working out, it's for sweating. The coverage is amazing and how thin it is, it's like, I love this. I wear this every single day, even when I'm not working out. I've just been putting on, putting it on with my hands. So this is gonna be like a fast makeup look that will only take you like five to 15 minutes in the morning. For concealer, this is Tarte uh, Shape Tape Concealer. I'm just doing a little tiny bit because first off, this is really good full coverage concealer that you also don't need to set. So it just like lasts wherever you put it, it's just gonna stay. But also a little bit of this goes a super long way. Yes, I'm just blending this in with a brush. I think this is from Crown Brush. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. So this is Too Faced Born This Way facial setting powder. I really like this because it's just very neutral. It has like a little yellow hue to it, which just makes it a little more brightening. And then for the face, you could totally just stop right here. But um, I'm like a freak when it comes to setting my whole face when I'm in school. This is just a powder foundation, but you can use any powder. Oh God, I just like mine to have a little bit of color um, just to make my face um, have life in it and not so like dead. So the goal is to keep you looking pretty natch, but also making it look like you're wearing some makeup, you know? When I was in college, I would wear like fake eyelashes to class and stuff, cause I was just dope like that. Senior year I wore uh, hair extensions to school. Every year I'm just getting better. But I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer. I know a lot of high school girls love bronzer and I'm bringing it up a little higher cause I'm not putting on blush. Blush for me just looks horrible. Especially in school, I never put blush on. Cause especially when I walk in the hallways at like 7 a.m. with like blush on, I just feel so like, uh. So I never really did it. So I'm just putting it a little higher up on my cheekbones and kind of like sweeping it on my apples as if it's blush. And then up here, hitting the temples with it. This is just gonna help to, this isn't really like contouring, but this sort of just helps blend the foundation to your face. And then I always just run some down my nose. That's not a nose contour. All that is, is making my nose not like mashed potatoes on my face. I'm giving it a little bit of dimension again. And then while I have my bronzer out and handy, I'm gonna take a blending brush, wherever that is. So I just take the bronzer on a blending brush and just throw this in my face. This will just make my eye look like it has a little dimension to it. And honestly, like I put some time to it, but, and then I always like to put a little bit underneath my eye just to finish it off and like round it out. Then I always like highlight just so that I'm not dead looking. So right now I'm using Champagne Pop by Becca for school. I'm not one to make it like 
well I'm never one to really make it like a whoa highlight I just sort of want it to lift my face up a little bit so I don't look so tired and dead so I put this on my cheekbones and then I bring it above my eyebrow right here and I kind of just drag it up like that just to give me a little bit of dimension there. I go in with a brush like this, take the highlight, just a flat synthetic brush, and I put it right underneath my eyebrow, right here on the inner corner of my eye, and also right on the center. Well, I guess I'll just connect it. May as well, let's just connect the whole thing, shall we? Um, let's just continue on with the eyes since we're over here. So, and also the face is done at this point. Unless you want to add anything else, blush, cream contour, you can do whatever you want, honey. So now I'm just going to go in with a flat, uh, shader brush like this and black eyeshadow. This is Raven. Yes, by NYX. And you literally just need like a little love touch of this. And all I'm going to do is just put this up here along my outer half of my lower lash line. Or sorry, upper lash line. And just sort of smoke it up. This just gives you a little definition. Alright, now I'm going to do eyebrows. Please do your eyebrows. I'm just going to use Brow Wiz today. Sophomore year is like a blur to me. Because I started dating this one. I wasn't dating him sophomore year. I was dating him junior year. Well, I met this guy that I ended up dating my junior year. He was a senior when I was a sophomore. So I felt like I woke up like super early every morning to like try to impress him in hopes that I would like run into him that day. I had such a crush. I was geeking really hard. So I think I tried like super hard and also, oh, you know what? Sophomore year was the beginning of my edgy phase. And then that ended my junior year. So I tried to be edgy for a little bit. It was pretty fun, actually. I listened to like alternative bands and I wore like Tumblr stuff. <laughs> I remember I was like super insecure about wearing a flannel tied around my waist at school. But I made myself do it because I looked cool and I was like, it's cool to be the person that doesn't dress like everyone else. Mascara is next. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. Well, freshman year was super weird and awkward for me because it's like, uh, oh my god, I was such a little ugly duckling. I was so gross. And sophomore year, I was really gross too. And you know what? All the years I was gross. But I feel like my prettiest year was sophomore year, like at the end of sophomore year. Um, I had my long brown hair and it was ombre. And then it was like so pretty and then I went into junior year with it and it was really pretty like that too. And then I dyed it all brown and I don't really know why I did that because it looked really good. Um, but whatever, I dyed it all brown and then I started to lighten it back up again and then I just cut it all off. And that looked fine but then I just started like messing with it and then I went blonde and then that's how I ended up killing my hair. And then I went dark again, and then I went blonde, and then I ruined it. So then I had to go dark again, and then now we're in senior year. And then I had to get a bunch of extensions, and now I'm blonde with a head of extensions still. I use Benefit Their Real Mascara, and now I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex. I need lip gloss because nothing is ever done without lip gloss. This is uh, just a MAC Dazzle glass. It's just a peachy, sparkly one. I always had lip gloss on or chapstick on I like always loved lip gloss so I would just carry lip gloss around with, around with me at school and I did literally not give a f if anyone thought it was weird because I love lip gloss thank you guys so much for watching I hope you all enjoyed it if you did be sure to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button because 10,000 and um, we're also getting really close to 400,000 subscribers which is really exciting anyway I will talk to you guys all in my next video and um yeah it'll be a fitness vlog i hope that's okay okay bye love you i'm like trying to kiss you but it looks like i'm like fanning myself so whatever bye